There's gonna be a doll here, watch. Ah! Oh my god, dude, I saw that coming, man. I fucking saw that coming. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Shadows of Rose, the Resident Evil Village DLC, where we play Rose Winters, the daughter of Ethan Winters, something like 16 years after the events of Resident Evil 8. Let's dive right on in. Uh... Will you be my friend? Oh, my. oh no, dude. Oh no, what is this creepiness? Oh boy. Let's play. Oh my God. It's the grave from the first game. Oh no, 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 no. This is the uh, the little girl. What's wrong? Okay. Oh no. Something seems different. Okay, this is is weird. Did it? Oh. Welcome, Rose. Rusted shut. Rusted shut. Okay. Oh, look. This is a very similar door as uh, what we had seen previously. Like in uh, the original game. Why is there a picture of me? What the heck? Now, remember, this is all, like, memories, right? Like, this isn't real. Oh, crystal's right. Playtime. <laughs> you don't need you that junk. Oh, God. Hey, my stuff. Oh, I lost everything. Sounds like scissors. Is that scissors? I mean, it kind of sounds like it. What the heck? The stuffed locker, the picture on the bookshelf, the desk covered in stuff. Forty four. O two forty four. The desk, the desk covered with stuff. Oh, right there, sixty six, sixty six or ninety nine.
What the heck, man? What the hell, bro? I'm presuming I gotta cut open the, like, the big teddy bear. And that's gonna have, like, the baby emblem in it. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Oh, wait, right there. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh boy. You know how to play with dolls, don't you? Again? What now? I bet you can find all kinds of places to play with this doll and her friends. Maybe you'll get the crystal once you get the campfire started. Okay, so we have to find, like, each one, I guess. Jimmy's room. We have this now, right? I think we need the other doll back. No one wants to be your friend. What a loser. Let's go get the other doll. Actually, before we do that, yeah, I think you're supposed to like, let me just make sure you can't go in here. Okay. All right. So what I'm thinking is, you need the, fir I just shit myself, dude. I literally just shit myself, bro. Like IRL, man. Holy fucking fuck bro but anyways I think we need the first three dolls to solve the first puzzle aha there we go okay look there we go you go here and then you go in that the, the room with the baby oh my god that f***ed me up again and then you get the last one. I think you unlock them like one at a time. Not the craziest puzzle. Man, I'm... I really enjoy how many more puzzles there are in Resident Evil games. If I'm going to be real. Because... So RE2, it, I still... Especially the remake. 
I think is my favorite Resident Evil ever. Um, but one thing is to be said is that with RE Remake and then followed by the titles that came after it. To play with dolls? I just truly like... How cool and interesting and relatable the puzzles have become. All right, there we go. Look at that. Boom. Aha. Okay. Jimmy's room key. All right, so this is probably going to give us like the third doll and then we got to go back in the baby room baby baby oh baby 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 oh baby baby <laughs> I was not expecting it to go down a well, bro. God, this is so creepy. It is so creepy. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so I think it's going to be this, okay? Followed by this. Followed by this. Yeah! All right. There's going to be a doll here. Watch. Ah! Oh my God, dude. I had a feeling, dude. I saw that coming, man. I fucking saw that coming. Oh my God. But it still scared the crap out of me, dude. It really did, man. It really did. All right. Okay. I'm kind of doing like a best judgment here. Assuming that looks about, I think this looks about right. I think maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. Seriously. Oh, my God. Fuck you. It's so weird, bro. Oh, she's dead. So sad. 
Hello? Hello? Who's there? Rose, you're still looking for the crystal? Fine. I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mommy might be upset that I'm helping you, though. Who are you? Let's play statues. Oh boy. It's game over if they catch you. Don't look. What the hell? Oh, my God. You go through, and then we have to go right, not left. Supposedly this goes to a kitchen. Oh my, bruh. Bruh. We go in? And then when we go through that hallway... Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that was so freaky. I'm retracing steps. Holy sh, dude. Oh my god, there's two now. Oh god. Okay, you go up the stairs. Okay, it's this way. I'm pretty sure.
Oh! I hope this thing work. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that was so heart wrenching. What the hell is this? Oh, poor little Rose. I'm waiting for you in the back bedroom. <laughs> Can you play hide and seek? Oh my god, what the hell is this nightmare, dude? Go to the bedroom. Bruh. Damn, I thought I managed to like cook around just in time. Oh, sh no, I'm dead as f go up here All right, here we go. We still want to be There we go. There we go. Let's go. Ready? We're gonna solve this thing, all right? None of these dolls are gonna mess with me ever again. Uh. All right, all the way around. Just have to get past them. Holy crap, dude! It's like Mean Girls, the 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 doll version. Get her. 
Oh my god, let's go. Are we out of it? I think I'm supposed to use this. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh God. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Nightmares. You know it's true. What is From how people treat us, I completely forgot about that. Afraid of what you might turn into. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. This is such a, it's so creepy, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, let's try that again. All right. Come on. Do you resent him? I don't know him. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Does 
sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. Would he have been there for me, proud of me? Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. You're safe here. It feels familiar. Oh, it's the old house. The one in it's Europe, perhaps? It's where, uh, yeah, it is. It's where the village started. Look at all the decoration. Decorate living room, done. Get wine, put in dining room, yep. Rose's other present and study. Some kind of party? Oh my god. Right before everything went down. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. <laughs> I bet dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Damn. Don't forget to look upstairs. upstairs. I'll take a look. Yeah, I'll do just that. Let me just see if there's Take your time and look around. Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Oh God, <laughs> brings a tear to my eye. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. Dad. Oh God. Oh my god, mom's pills, bro. Damn, mom was a pill eater. Oh, the music box. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. This is my bedroom. She's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. She's already growing out of these onesies. I can't believe I was ever this tiny. February 2nd, it's Rose's half birthday, half a year in a blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. May have gotten a bit sappy, though. I'd feel embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it, so it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favorite photo. Okay. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. A letter for me.
Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. No! No! Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! Oh my god. That's definitely L or whatever. Eve. I think Eve yes. is alive in these memories. Doesn't exist. Isn't here. <laughs> so you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough games. Ah! Drown. Remember, Eve was the Eve daughter of Miranda. Like the main boss, you know, of Resident Evil Village, and Eve died. Why does she only want you? And then Miranda was gonna end her life in a cave, and that's when she found the mold. And then she found that the mold like kept her alive, so she wanted to use the mold to try to bring back Eve. This is Eve. She never managed to do so, and then in Village. She wanted to get Rose because she thought Rose would have been like. She wanted Rose instead of Eve. So now Eve, who's probably She's dead so in the mold mean. with her memories, is like pissed at her. Ah! I messed up. Relax! So friend, but it's never enough. Where do you think? Go! Oh my god. Be careful. We're not safe yet. Everlene's oh, causing this. That little girl? Yep.
We still can't get out. Use your powers on here. I can help when she's weak. These should help. Let's go. What the hell? Dude, she just like wom wombo stomped me. Never never. I have been such a good girl. Let's go! I can't believe how useless I am. Oh my god. Yo, this is a trap. This feels like a trap, dude. Crystal. Oh my god, that was our dad. I feel like that confirms that our dad is dead. I know there even I was thinking at the end of village, I was like, hey, maybe he's still alive, but it looks like that right there sort of proves that he isn't. me but he 
didn't make it. That voice. My dad's voice. Is Michael... My dad? Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him... I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. All right, let's go I'm for it. Own. Oh, look, the door from earlier. What's all this doing out here? Okay. Oh, handgun ammo. Wait, do, oh, we have the gun stuff back. All right. To make sure everything's like reloaded. Where the hell am I? What the heck? What is this place? What is that? Dude, this looks sick. Something from over there. Head to the giant core. What? White sage. All right. Anything else? We don't want to, like, leave anything behind at this point. I think that would only hurt us. All right, meds. Good. Are we doing on meds anyways? We got three meds. That's good. There we go. Push through, baby. Ah! Did it break? Did it break? Oh, it did break. Okay. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? Is this where those copies of me came from? Ooh, we got another safe spot. Let's go ahead and use it. The Mega My Seat absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. The memories that compromise the realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the Mega My Seat in uh, life retain control of their facilities or faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the Mega My Seat as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed in the Megama seat, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All of those years I strived have continued to strive, and they are not for nothing. The memories of consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megama seat, uh, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. 
And of course, I know of the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of researching, Rose Mary Winters. Here. Oh my God. What? Whoa, okay. I knew that dude was sketch, man. I have intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica may serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I've succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles a real thing, yes, but it has no powers. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to my mind thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive to some other actor within the realm. Uh, three, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easily easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm where she... Uh, were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these rose poppies, as I've taken a call of these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle uh, to pursue. When subjected to situations invoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some resemblance of Rose's powers. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have been... What the hell? Like, look at this lab, dude. There's like dolls and stuff in here. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my room. This intruder was none other than the failure Eveline, who has been running around and, uh, and acting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption of my own plans. Had Eveline not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, disposed of her... Uh, disp uh, dispossessed of her will to live and her mega uh, mutamacy powers. Uh, instead, a new passion burns with her. I shall have to in extinguish it. Oh, um. All right, let's pick that up. All right. Oops. Oh, dude, there definitely feels like there's like a boss coming. Like an insane one, dude. Here we go, guys. There's no way this is not a boss. I feel like there is no way this is not a boss. What is that feeling again? It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is is close, but I just can't uh, can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw the blue light, but no, not quite. If only I had been braver, faster, stronger. So close, I was so Almost close. There. Michael. It's through here. Black God, which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy, but to preserve and once again delivered unto life. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. Wow. You would become so powerful. I was Far not in... Powerful for me to I actually wasn't expecting it to be her. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? Wait. Oh, <laughs> snap. Wait, what? Convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva. Okay, that's a bit of a twist. I was expecting the scientist was just crazy. Needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone, but I had to find a way out. And go, go, go. It's just ahead. Rose! Yo, boss fight time. Let's go, baby. Ethan, persistence is all we Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. Wait. Your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain. Foolish little girl. How intent you were on my throwing them away. Wait, what? Why do you There is nothing. Damn it, dude. Here I come. It's 
pop it. All right, listen, all right? There will be wailing and gnashing. Dude, I keep missing the dodge, man. This will all soon be. How about this? And even if you were to survive, Wait, absorb? Oh shit. You are of two different worlds. Oh my god. Ah! I won't let you do this. Crap! But no matter how many vessels have created, none have the power to regenerate. Okay, you know what? Screw this. That is why you ah! must be. You are the only one who can bring her back to me. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I. It will see this. Do you still oh, I screwed up. There is no happy ending. Says the wicked witch at the end of her reign. Oh, no, 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 no. And you kill the only one who understands. Oh no. I may be, we may be hosed here. Okay. You just won't give up. You really are. That sun that shines inside you makes you the perfect best. Oh my god, I just killed myself. Looks like we're back on second phase. Cut it back in. Let's go. Makes you perfect mess. Come on. Come. Be by my side. No! Why do you Come on! That won't work! Why suffer needs? Come on! 
Come on! Honestly, I should top myself off now. I am too afraid of dying. There is no victory. Wait. My struggle comes to fruition. What the heck? Oh my god. Use this. Take her down. Snap, dude. So much power. Ah! So much for my Eva. I'm not a goddamn vessel. I'm not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. And you're done. Yeah, we just went Super Saiyan over 9,000. To take out Miranda, let's go. Hey, sweetie. Oh, my God. You're, you're so grown up now. Even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry, I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. Back. Wow. That was pretty cool, to be honest. I'm back. Oh my God. Think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. 
But it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels cold. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke. Oh, s I can show you things even Chris doesn't know. Wait, need. isn't this? This looks like this is the same camera angle. We have a clear shot. Stand down. to keep it together, Rose. That look... Isn't that scene by scene the same thing that happened? You're a lot like him, you know? Oh, I see what happened. Okay. I know. Oh! So that was him the entire time. This is the ending of Resident Evil Village. So that... This scene happened at the end and that was Ethan that walked up. Oh, that is kind of neat. And then as Ethan walks up, the truck actually does stop. So Ethan may actually be alive. Oh! That just blew my mind. All right. So Ladies and gentlemen, what do I think about the DLC? Uh, I'll make, I'll be very honest and blunt. It was okay. You know, if I were to spitball like a numerical score, probably like a seven out of 10, while I thought Resident Evil Village was like an 8.59. Don't put too much weight into numerical scores. They're mostly meaningless, right? When you start playing numbers, it, no one, no one wins any arguments. Let's be honest. Um, I, I thought they were... I think it was a fun adventure. I think as someone who just beat Village and d jumped into DLC, I probably got more out of it than somebody who went and checked out the DLC a year and a half after release. Because a lot of the little details would be less, I think, uh, appreciated. Right? Because you're going to naturally forget what happened in your playthrough a year and a half ago. So, with that said, like, it was okay... It wasn't like anything groundbreaking. I think it closed some circles, right? It got us to uh, experience Rose. And it answered the question, is Ethan Winter still alive? And I think the answer might be, yeah, he might actually be back alive now, somehow. And that was actually him at the ending. Outside of that, I am glad that they didn't go down the route of 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 doing any massive like continuation of the main story arc and the reason i say that is anytime a game pushes big plot points through dlc it's always bad for most fans because not everyone experiences the dlc let's be honest they're like side extra content so i'm glad they didn't go down that route and screw anyone for like the next resident evil but I think this confirms, at least in my mind, that I think we're going to see Ethan Winters in the next Resident Evil and Resident Evil 9. And I'm going to go on a limb and say, I imagine 
after Resident Evil 4 next year, we're then going to see E3 come around, and we're going to hear that Resident Evil 9 is going to very similar to Resident Evil 2, allow you to play Ethan Winters and Rose Winters. But maybe that's my fandom speaking. Let me know what you think about this playthrough in the comments down below. If you've been enjoying these playthroughs, be sure to let me know what you want to watch next. And of course, please, ladies and gentlemen, share with at least one of your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, Lions. Until the next time. Peace.